Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on understanding the Levine's test when using multiple independent variables. So taking a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data editor in SPSS, I have an ID variable and I have 45 records here. And I have two independent variables, program, and this independent variable has three levels, CBT, psychodynamic, and treatment as usual. And then the second independent variable, gender, and that has two levels, male and female. And then a dependent variable, named depression, which is continuous. So these data are arranged in a configuration consistent with a factorial ANOVA, in this case, a two-way ANOVA. We have program as one independent variable, gender as the second independent variable, and one dependent variable. Among the several assumptions that we have for conducting a two-way ANOVA is the homogeneity of variances assumption, which means we need to test that each combination of the levels of the independent variables have variances that aren't statistically significantly different than the other variances. So one combination of levels, for example, would be CBT and male, another CBT and female, and yet another psychodynamic and male, and we would keep going down the list and we'd have six different combinations of these two variables. We have three levels in program and two levels in gender. So three times two gives us six levels. And then six minus one would give us the degrees of freedom, so we'd have five degrees of freedom. To test the assumption of homogeneity of variances, we often use the Levine's test. And we can conduct this here by going to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, and the dependent variable in this case would be Depression, and the fixed factors, the independent variables, would be Program and Gender. Then under Options, I'm going to select Homogeneity Tests. Click Continue, and then click OK. So we can see here the second table, Levine's test of equality of error variances. We have five degrees of freedom and a p-value of 0.114. So this result is not statistically significant. So we would assume that we met the assumption of homogeneity of variances. To demonstrate what the Levine's test is more clearly, I'm going to calculate it step by step using SPSS. So moving back to the data editor, first I need to calculate the mean for each of the combinations of levels. So again, CBT and male, CBT and female, and so on. I need to calculate the mean for the dependent variable, this depression score, for each of the combinations. So first I'll create a new variable named mean. I'll go to variable view and below the depression variable, type in mean, hit enter, and the default would be numeric type with two places to the right of the decimal displayed, two digits, and that's fine. It defaults to an unknown measure. I'm going to move to a scale measure. However, everything else can stay the same there. Moving back to the data view, so I have the new variable mean, but I don't have the means entered in yet. To compute these, I'm going to go back to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate. I'm going to go back to Options, and I won't need homogeneity test for this calculation, but I am going to move Program times Gender over to Display Means 4 to this list box, and click Continue and then click OK. So you can see this program times gender in this table. We have six mean scores, one for each combination of the levels of the independent variables. So with these six means, I can now populate the combinations of the levels of the independent variable on this mean variable. So I know that the first combination, which is CBT times male, 
the mean is 48.25. So moving to the data editor, 48.25, control C, copy, and then control V to paste it down to record 8, which should be the last record for the combination CBT and mail. Then using the remaining mean values, the other five, I'm just going to populate the rest of this variable in the same way. So now that I've populated the remaining means, I'm going to compute a new variable. And this is going to be the absolute value of the difference between the depression variable and the mean. So to do that, I'm going to go to Transform, Compute Variable. I'm going to call this target variable difference. Then for the numeric expression, go to Arithmetic here under the function group to the right. And I'm going to select ABS for absolute value. And then it's going to be depression over here on the left minus the mean. So the absolute value of the depression score minus the mean. Click OK. Then we have the new difference variable. So we have a mean variable and a difference variable. So this variable, the difference variable, is the variable that's being tested for homogeneity in a Levine's test. It's the absolute value of depression minus mean. So a Levine's test is using ANOVA to compare record 1 through 8, which is CBT plus male, to records 9 through 15, which is CBT female, and all the other combinations of the levels of the independent variables. So if we perform that ANOVA using SPSS, we should get the same result as observed with the Levine's test conducted through that first ANOVA. So I'll go back to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, and I'm going to remove the dependent variable Depression, move Difference over to Dependent Variable, and under Options, I don't need to display the means for program times gender. So I'll just move that back over to the left, click Continue, and then OK. We can see here from the output using corrected model, which has five degrees of freedom, we have the value of the F statistic, 1.922, and a P value of 0.113. So if I move back up to that original Levine's test, we can see the value of the F statistic is 1.913, and the significance is 0.114. So the question becomes, why aren't these exactly matched. So to answer this question, we need to move back to the table that has the means, the program times gender. And specifically, the mean values for CBT times female and for psychodynamic times female. Notice there's three digits to the right of the decimal displayed, but these don't end in a zero like the other mean values. So if I double click, and expand this out, you can see that there's more digits to the right of the decimal than I used in the calculation for both CBT times female and for psychodynamic times female. If I return to the data editor and I use more digits to the right of the decimal as displayed here, we can see how this affects the result. So moving back to the data editor, I'll update these values. And then after the values are updated, I need to use the compute variable function again to update this difference variable. So transform, compute variable, and I'm just going to click OK and then overwrite the other variable. And it's going to bring up this dialog, change existing variable, click OK. So now with the difference variable updated, I'm going to go back to analyze, general linear model, univariate, 
and then run the same ANOVA as I just conducted before. So all the same settings here. Click OK. And looking at the output now, and again, corrected model, five degrees of freedom. It matches the original Levine's test, 1.922, and a probability value of 0.113. I hope you found this video on performing a Levine's test with two independent variables to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.